Welcome to the first of a new series, two minutes more or less, of tips and tricks. So here we're going to talk about how I learn new modeling methods uh, within Autodesk Inventor. I'm Rob Cohey, Industry Solution Evangelist for Autodesk Manufacturing. So first off, I'm going to create some highly complex geometry here. Not really, it's just a coffee cup that I had sitting on my desk. But what I did there was I did a revolve. Now I'm going to take the same geometry, but I'm going to force myself to use a different set of tools to create a desired result. So here, I'm just going to grab radial dimension, same base diameter, radius, if you will. And this time I'm going to use extrude rather than revolve, but in order for me to be able to get that, that, that taper angle, I have to go and find where to grab and create a taper during the extrude. Fill it and shell, and I get the same result. Now, I'm going to use a different set of tool again to create the same coffee mug. Now the point of this really guys is is so that you force yourself to learn new commands. If you have five minutes, you know, just sit down, take something that you have on your desk. I happen to be drinking a cup of coffee at the time that I was recording this. And I thought, well, people ask me all the time, how do you how do you learn some of the new new features within Inventor. And I've always told people when you're learning 3D applications, um, take the same piece of geometry and try to figure out every single way that you can model it. And that way what you can focus on is the different modeling techniques and then over time you'll figure out where to deploy a loft, a sweep, a uh, sweep with a rail, an extrusion, a revolution, um, and it really it depends on your desired result. So here I'm able to achieve a design of a coffee mug that I would not have been able to achieve had I simply done a, an extrusion or a revolve. So here I'll loft between those two offset profiles, but I'm going to use that spline as a rail. So again, by forcing yourself to use uh, some things that you may not have kind of uh, reached into, if you will, you know, the other bag of tricks within your within your Inventor toolbar here, um, you may not be able to achieve your desired result. So again, with this spline, I get a little bit more control. Swing that over just a little bit. And now I've got a pretty cool looking coffee mug. So that's that. Again, this is the first of a new series. We're going to do some two minute tips and tricks. Hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to uh, offer up some some ideas as things that you would like to see us do in this uh, in this particular format. Have a great day.